Hello, mathematicians. Welcome to another math lesson with me, Miss Taylor. All right. So let's take a look at what we need to get ready for math. So we need our fact practice packet. There's mine. Here we go. We need our textbook. Here's my textbook. We need our workbook. Here's mine. And we need paper or whiteboard and a pencil for when we do our homework and our fact practice stuff. We'll need a pencil. All right. And then here you might also need your place value chart with ones, tens, and hundreds from time to time. So it's a good idea to keep this in a spot where you can get it um, easily. And then also we have our little um, ones, tens, and hundreds that can help us already. So let's get started. Our math lesson for today, we have, we're gonna do our fact practice. And then we're going to do a little bit of work in our textbook. We're going to go over some practice problems. And then you'll have your workbook to do. So that is how our math lesson is going to look today. And every day, pretty much. All right. So let's start with our fact practice packet. So again, we won't do this today, or we won't do this every day together. But I thought when we're first starting, it would be a good idea for us to do it together. And so I mentioned that it's a good idea to try to time yourself. Um, for some of you, you know, these problems. So here we're kind of working on subtracting two. And you might think, oh, Ms. Taylor, I already know how to subtract two. Well, that's great. You should already know how to subtract two. Now your goal is to get faster. So right now we are working on our addition and subtraction facts. And then pretty soon, well, in a few months, we're going to work on multiplying and dividing. So, but right now, let's see how quickly we can do our fact practice packet. So, like I said, we won't do this every time together, but um, I just kind of wanted to show you a few times what this is going to look like. And we could have a little race. Maybe you want to get your fact practice packet. See if you can beat me. What do you think? I think I'm going to win. All right. Should I give you a minute? You can also pause the video. You can stop the video and open up your fact practice packet. We are on page four. And again, this is the packet number one. This is the front of the packet. So get to page four and then see if you can beat Miss Taylor. Are you ready? And go. We're subtracting, aren't we? And when we're subtracting, I often think about um, adding. And I'll tell you about that in just a second. Ooh. Oops, I was adding. <laughs> Oh, 35. So I think yesterday, um, so that's 35 seconds. Yesterday, it was about 30 seconds, but we were adding yesterday. And I don't know about you, but for me, subtracting is a little bit harder. So when we did this one yesterday, we were adding two. I did it in, I think it was like 30 seconds. And this one, you can see it took me a little bit longer. It took me 35 seconds. And that often happens with subtracting. It's a little bit, a little bit harder. Um, might take you a couple seconds longer than adding. But what I like to do when I'm subtracting is I think about the numbers that um, I need to make that number. So when we're when we're subtracting, we start with the whole number. You probably remember this from last time. So it's kind of like we're taking a whole number, 10, so we have 10, and then we're taking away one of the parts. And one of the parts that we're taking away is two. And then the other part, the answer, is the kind of the missing part. So we take the whole number, we subtract a part, and we get the missing part. And so what we can do when we see a whole number minus one part is think about, 
ooh, what's that other number that I need to make the whole number? So when I see 10 minus 2, I'm thinking, ooh, I know 2 plus 8 is 10. And then I know that these two numbers together will get me to the whole number. So that's kind of what I meant when I use adding. I use the opposite to help me. So like 11 minus 2, I'm thinking about, ooh, I know 2 plus 9 makes 11. Or 3 minus 2, in my brain, I'm thinking 2, oh, I know 2 plus 1 is 3. So 3 minus 2 must be 1. So we can think about addition to help us get faster with our subtraction facts. We'll talk more about that at another time. But, um, so again, this is page four. And then we're gonna go ahead and check our answers on the back. So I have eight, nine, one, three, five. Let me see. Uh, eight, nine, one, three, five. Yep, check. Let's look at the second row here. Nine, seven, six, two, one. Nine, seven, six, two, one. All right. 10784. 10784. Now, this is the one I made the mistake here. Let's see. 05763. 05763. And that's a way that I can correct myself. Oh, hi. Hey. Hey, sweetie. You know what? The students can actually see you. There's a little picture, there's a little camera down here. I know you can't see yourself. Do you want to say hi? This is my son, Henrik. He wanted to say hi. Um, so you can say hi. I oh, know you can't see yourself, but they can see us. There's a little um, camera there. Hey. You got a, a sucker? Mm -hmm. And what's this guy? Mm -hmm. my, um, my stuffed animal mm -hmm. called a Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur. Is he a Pokemon guy? Yes. Cool. All right. So you can say hi to Henrik. This is Henrik. He's five. And are you in school? Yes. What grade do you go to? Kindergarten. Kindergarten. Okay. Thanks for visiting, sweetie. I'm going to keep going with my math video, okay? Can you take this upstairs to Dad? Thank you. All right. So that is our fact practice. Let's see. What's next? So we did our fact practice. Oh, it is time for our textbook. So we're going to go ahead and look at our textbook. Here we are. And we're going to look at Oops, pages 10 and 11. So pages 10 and 11 in our workbook. So we're doing a little bit more review with tens and ones. So we did a little bit of practice with this yesterday and we can think about grouping numbers into tens and then seeing how many ones we have. And so here we have two groups of 10 and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, six ones. So two tens and six ones makes 26. Okay, and the thing we're working on today is writing those two digit numbers. So how we write the number 26 is 20, and then we put a little dash, six. So we always put this little dash, this little hyphen between the tens place and the ones place. And remember, that you have this little paper to help you. And maybe you even glued this paper in the front of your workbook. So um, let's take a look at this paper to help us with, let's see, where is 20? Oh, there it is, 20, what was our number? 26, so 20 and six. All right, the next one here we have four tens, one, two, three, four, four groups of 10, four tens, and then we have three ones. And if we have four tens and three ones, that makes 43. And again, thinking about putting that little hyphen, that little dash between the tens place and the ones place. And this one, we have five tens and seven ones, and our number is 57. All right, nice job. So when we get to this page, now we're gonna do a little bit of practice. It says write the numbers in tens and ones. So what that means is here number 4a, it has this number is 65. So if we were gonna write this number, 
with tens and ones. I did in tens and ones. That would look like let me get my whiteboard out, and you can use a piece of paper too. So for number four, a 65, and they want us to write it in tens and ones. So 65 would be six tens, five ones. So the number 65 written in tens and ones would be six tens, five ones. This next one says 40. And 40 written in tens and ones. Hi, you want to come say hi? Would be four tens. All right, we have another guest who wanted to say hi to us. I know you can't see yourself, but the students can see you. This is my daughter, Sophia. Hi. <laughs> and so, Sophia, what grade are you in? I'm in second grade. <laughs> I you, used to... you used to be, and now what grade are you in? Third grade. Third grade. Okay, so. Sophia is in third grade. Do you remember learning about tens and ones? Like the number 40 is four tens. Mm -hmm. And the number 65 is six tens and five ones. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll see you later. Okay. I'll see you later. Alrighty. So, um, no. Okay. I'll see you later. Okay. So, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna let you keep going and do a little bit more practice with these. Let's take a look at this next one. It says, "What number is four more than 50? Hmm. Four more than fifty. So that's the same as saying fifty plus four. Did you say fifty-four? All right. Well, let's move down to number six. So for number six here, we have to write the number in words. Okay. So. This is where it might be a good idea to get out this paper, and it might be in your workbook. Um, as I mentioned, a lot of times I ask students to glue this in the front of their workbook, so that's a really good idea. Um, but let's see how we would write this number in words. Hmm. Can you find the number 40? There it is. So that is how you write the number 40 in words. And I am going to be picky about the spelling. So please look at this paper to help you with your spelling. Okay, that is how you spell 40. What about this one? What number is this? 15. Can you find how we would write 15 in words? There it is. 15. E double E always says E, right? All right. What about this one? 95. So now we have to find two different words. There's 90. So I'm going to write 9D. And then I'm going to put my little hyphen there. We always have a little hyphen or a dash between the tens and ones place. So 90, what number was it? 90. Five. So we're looking at this number, 95. And so I can see that's how I spell the number five. F-I-V-E. All right. Awesome. So that is 95. So this number, this is how we write it in words. Let's try one more. The next one they're asking us to do is this, this number. What number is that? 87. Hmm. Let's find, how do we write the word 80? There it is. Ooh, A, four letter A. Got some phonograms in here, don't we? So E, I, G, H. If you wanted to underline that phonogram, that's A, four letter A. You could do that. A, T, dash, seven. 87. Okay, so the challenge for you today is to really think about your spelling. So you're going to check your spelling for your number words. And also, I would like you to make sure that you have a hyphen between the tens place and the ones place. That's kind of our challenge for today. Alrighty. The next one says to write the numbers. And when it says to write the numbers, that just means using digits. So for example, this one, can you read it? I would just write that because this number is the number in words, and here's the number in digits, okay? So that is a little practice with writing 
words, writing your number words, your two digit number words. Let's take a look at your homework for today. So your homework is pages 10 and 11. So here is page 10. And let's see, so here you're going to write how many tens and how many ones. So you can see here there are two tens. So you write two and there are four ones. So you're just going to write two and four. When you get down to the bottom here, it says write the numbers. And again, when it just says write the numbers, that means write the numbers using digits. So four tens and nine ones would be 49. And if you would like to, you could use your place value chart to actually put on your place value chart. Like you could put your four tens and your nine ones, and then it would be 49. That would be a good practice. Um, okay, so here you're just going to write the digits. Ooh, we talked about this one yesterday. 10 tens is equal to 100. Nice job. All right. Up here at the top, you're just going to write the numbers. So again, using digits. And then when you get to the bottom here, this is going to be the challenging part, would be to write the number in words. Okay, so you're going to use this paper to help you. You're going to write the number in words. And then you're going to remember that hyphen. And that hyphen goes between the tens place and the ones place. All right. So when you finish your homework for today, you're going to ask someone to help you, or maybe you already know how to do this. You're going to take a picture of page 11. And this is page 11. And Ms. Taylor is going to check and make sure we understand and we've spelled our words correctly. We've used our paper to help us spell the words correctly. And we've remembered hyphens in between. You can see they have their hyphens here in between the two digit number words. And then I can check your work and I can see, do we need to practice anything? Are we ready to move on? How are we doing? So I think we've done what we set out to do for our math lesson. We did our fact practice. We looked in our textbook. We did some practice problems. And now it's time for you to do a little bit of practice to see if you understand how to write two digit numbers using words. Oh, I think you do. All right. Have a great day and I will see you again soon.